Hello, and hello, welcome again. Now I'm going to solve this the second assignment problem with, with regarding the taking of square roots. Here we're going to take the square root of 102. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it uh, by 2. So I can have 102, and I can ask, I know that since its last digit is 2, it can be, it can be divided by 2. So I'll put a 2 here, and I'll say, okay, 2 goes into 102 how many times? So 2 goes into 1, 0 times, it doesn't. 2 goes into 10, aha, 5 times, because 5 times 2 is 10. I can see that 10 minus 10 is 0. I bring down my 2, and I get 2 goes, I ask myself how many times is 2 into 2? It goes in 1 time. And so I see that 102 is the same thing as 2 times 51. Now 51 is interesting because when you first look at it, you think, this one can't possibly factor. But then you realize that, you know, if you try several numbers, and let me give you a special rule here. If you add up the digits of a number, and, they're div and that sum is divisible by 6, I mean divisible by 3, in this case 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. So when you have that the sum of the digits in a number is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. And so what we're going to find is that if we divide 3 into 51, we're going to get a perfect uh, division. 3 goes into 5 once. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. I bring down the 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. And 21 minus 21 is 0. So in fact, 51 can be seen as 3 times 17. Now, 17 break, does not break down further, 3 does not break down further, 2 does not break down further. So I can see here that the square root of 102 can be written as the square root of 2 times 3 times 17. Now, what becomes clear is that there's no pairs of anything inside. And so the simple way of, of simplifying this is that it doesn't simplify. There is no simplification to be done. So this would just stay as the square root of 102. Thank you.